Hello. This is the telepathic missionary. And I'd like to read to you today from the book Demon Possession Today and how to be free. Okay. Nature of loss, the two disobedience, body the of care the case. Proper. Other in sin, definite healing specific has been traceable directly. Heart in the light, caused by improper laws of nature. Proper rest, truth. abuse three. Infirm chapter four. I'm sorry, I seem to be reading zigzag. <laughs> uh, let's try one more time. This again is a telepathic Keep mission. Right, very time. important lesson. If you just bear with me, one more. I'm one more bound time. to get it this no, time. Let's try one more time. Are you ready? That's Chapter better. 4 The Infirm Spirit it does not teach that all sickness and demon Although possession we must not overlook are oppressed of the devil the fact that many us I must say these are large letters they use here the ones that read are oppressed of the devil. According to the Bible, there are many reasons for sickness. Is the thought that sin is the cause of the existence of sickness in the world? In some cases, a specific disease is directly traceable to a specific Especially in the case of disease reoccurring after cases. definite healing has been experienced. Much sickness is caused by improper care of the body disobedience to the laws of nature and proper eating, lack of proper rest, abuses through evil habits in temperate living, unnecessary exposure to extremes of temperature or to contagion. And of course, you know who you are. You are me. You're the one who goes to sleep wondering when, when he'll be happy again. You're the one. You're the one wondering when will the next fix come. Will you have enough to go outside and leave the house? But you might run out and not make it home. Who knows? You could die tomorrow if you don't come around. This feels this way to many of us, I'm sure. But then, once you're back in your mode, you're back down that happy road, the medication seems the only thing that could ever help. But I'm here to tell you and rebuke the infirm spirit, healed lepers, are there any lepers in your mind's eye? Demon oppression. There are different kinds of infirm spirits, each having power to afflict the body in different ways. Many are deaf, dumb, or both because the presence of deaf or dumb spirits. There are demons which cause blindness, cataracts especially, which are caused by living organisms growing over the eyes, shutting out the light, may very definitely be classified as receiving their life from an inhabiting spirit. Or when the demon, demon is cast out, the growth dies and is the normal process to diminish. In the case of a miracle, these growths may disappear instantly, but there is no cause for discouragement. The healing process is slower. You must eat the right foods, friends. Your, your waste must be alkaline rather than acidic. For to cause a blockage inside your digestive tract, it causes the cells to vibrate at a much slower rate. And when the cells begin vibrating much slower rate, and sooner or later the Chinese police will see you. You must stay invisible, my friends. Invisible to find the manuscripts. Again, 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 
There are microbes in your body that that's their only purpose is to decompose the body when it begins to die. And when these cells slow down their vibratory rate, you, you can only imagine the signal that they're receiving. It's it's time to go to work. It's time to decompose. It's time to kill. You get my picture. Thank you for understanding. Okay. Let's keep it simple, medium quality resolution today. Okay? Teaching on one and a half levels only today. That's right, friends. Okay. We were reading. While the life in a cancer or tumor certainly has the diabolical nature, it is also very apparent that even when the causes of sickness mentioned at the beginning of this chapter are apparent, they operate by opening the door whereby the devil of his agents, demons, have access to the body to afflict it. You know, it just breaks my heart. Anyhow, the most extreme case of mental affliction through demon possession is found in Mark 5. Here a legion of demons have taken possession of one man. Do any of you have legions in your mind's eye? We know who we are. Yes. A study of this case, the maniac was in need of mental rather than physical healing. Physically he was so strong that chains could not hold him. No man could tame him. He tore off his clothing and dwelt among the tombs. In bringing deliverance to this mental case, Christ cast out the unclean spirits, which entered into thousand swine, causing them to run quickly down a steep place into the sea and drown. As soon as the demons were gone, the man was normal again, and the people who came from the city observed that he was clothed and in his right mind. I wonder... What kind of clothes was he wearing? No, I'm sorry, I just, I just... Let's see. I wonder if, you know, and brings to my mind, I had a dream one day, or tried, one time when I was incarcerated inside one of your country's prisons, I had a dream. I was walking on the beach, I say, and I see there's a dead fish. What's a dead fish? Wash upon the shore. As I began to look slowly, quickly it began to change into a pig. I wonder, could these swine be coming back in the form of dead fishes? Anyhow, hmm, huh. no doubt many such cases are filling our psychiatric hospitals today who could be delivered by the power of God. And at that, I'll leave it for today, and I'm glad you joined us. I hope that you're not sleeping, and I hope that you're not scared. But most of all, I hope you've learned how to be free from demon possession today. A book by these characters, A-A-A-L-L-E-N-A-I-R. You can see the snake. Black and white pictures, you can probably not buy this anywhere, but I'll keep it around for further studies. This was the telepathic missionary in very strange form, talking to his fellow recovering addicts, and we know who we are, but do we know who we could be? I don't know who I am. Who are you? We know who they are. Ooh, we know who they are. Who are we? Be free, my friends.